everyone, I'm Dan 2x15 here on Xbox Live, YouTube and on Twitch and I am by myself today, Jackson and Connor, they're not here but they are going to be competing in matches tonight in order of thy Triple H, getting them ready for Survivor Series. And we're in Florence, Italy ladies and gentlemen, mamma mia, I can't believe it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Florence, Italy, and here comes Shinsuke Nakamura, a member of the Judgment Day, one half of the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's some big news as of March 17th onwards. The Tag Team Champions can be def defended on both brands. That's right, this championship was only temporarily. Temporary on the Unified Tag Team Titles. They are still. This is Judgment Day. Will still be the Tag Team Champions going into 2K23. They hold both belts at the same time. But this, because the the fact that you can't have double championship entrances, I have to make this one special belt for superstars like this. So this belt is going to retire from March 17th onwards. Uh, the full, the actual full release date for WWE 2K23. The pre-order, uh, if you've pre-ordered it, then you'll get it on the 14th of March. My God Almighty! But Shinsuke Nakamura is actually going to about to go one on one with Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the Raw General Manager Jackson, who I'm actually is going to be teaming up with Connor, and to, well, to take on. The Judgment Day for the Tag Team Titles in the future. Because it's going to be a Survivor Series, it's, it's going to be FAFW versus. Uh, and I act on the. And by, the by, by the way, when I say the future, I actually mean on the week before Survivor Series. That's right, the week before Survivor Series, Jackson is going to team up. With Connor to take on the Judgment Day Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro for the tag team titles. Well, of course, the winning team will go on face upon my tag team champions on Fire FAW, my cousin Scott and Lee. <laughs> Judgment Day was a great pay per view. Rage in a Cage, Rage in a Cage was a great pay per view. If you've not seen them, go back and watch it. Jackson is out here now. Representing WWE Monday Night Raw and of course as the Raw Channel Manager and of course representing FAFW. But he said that he wants to represent WWE more when it comes to Survivor Series. Trust me, Jackson. <laughs> oh, I've got plans for you on FAFW to make you regret saying that. Because on the next episode of FAFW, Jackson. You're gonna, you're gonna wish you never had done that. I all said those words to me. But Jackson is ready. Former Intercontinental United States Champion and... Uh oh, and it comes to Kamora. Oof. Big kick right to the face. What a kick. Uh, to the back of the head. It was standing in the corner. Uh, kick out. But Jackson after the one. Oh, oh man. Nakamura is in control. Oh, wait a minute. Going all the way up here. He wants Jackson to get up. Oh, there's a punch to the gut. Ah, oh, shoulder tackle. Oh, man. Uh, look at this now. Back body drop. Now Jackson in control. And wait a minute, it's a nice reversal by Nakamura. Oh, wait a minute. On the way up, and front suplex. Oh, wait a minute. Donna oh, shoulder tackle again. What a right hand! It's no holds barred match at all! Oh, wait a minute, reversed! 
Take down. Uh oh, in and bound around and around us. Knock on Mora. Oh man, Jackson getting his ass kicked. Uh oh. Oof. Oh, knock on Mora. And now Jack. Oh, Jackson getting out of there. And boom right into the now it's Oh no. Look at this, look at Jackson taking it, Cal's way out. Remember no one's barred. Uh oh, it's got a steel chair! Oh my god, and Nakamura goes down! Jackson taking his frustrations out! Frustrations and he's happy in that corner! There's no longer part of the judgment day. Well he's got two personas still, but still. You know what tonight Cesaro will be in again facing uh oh we want tables <laughs> and oh no done it's no disqualifications of Nakamura I want to block uh oh wait a minute oh look at and Nakamura takes care of Jackson Oh uh, man, Jackson running away like a little coward. Coward! Oh. Uh oh, wait a minute, I'll come right up. In trouble! Jackson now! And. Ooh, what a right hand! Oh, wait a minute, he wants to end this. From behind. Close line! Oh dear. Uh oh, Jackson's got a table. He wants to put him for that table. Good God, using the table, bouncing him across the goddamn ring. Uh oh, I don't like this, Jackson. You fool! All right, up and out the way with it. Oh no, come more up. Don't wait a minute. Oh, oh boy, Jackson! All right, falls onto the outside. Uh oh, not good. Not come all right. Getting Jackson back into the ring. No! Oh. What the? Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! That's Jacob! <laughs> what the hell? Jacob is here. He's distracting. Not Wait a minute! Throw it up! I'm rolling up! Oh my god, wait a minute! One! Two! Three! Oh my god! Nakamura picks up the victory! Because Jacob from FAFW distracted Jackson! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jackson can't believe it! He can't believe that he just did that! Jackson just got screwed by Shinsuke Nakamura and Jacob! Jacob from FAFW just helped Shinsuke Nakamura win the matchup! <laughs> well, that's the little surprise that I was one telling you about. I gave Jacob a ticket to fly over to Italy so we can come out here and do this. FAFW are invading WWE and by god <laughs> I have just started the war the battle has just begun but the war is not over because Triple H has got and like I said I in the issue in champions versus champion four on four elimination team raw Jackson, you're team part of Team Raw. You're, you you got Team Raw. Well, this is one member of Team FAFW, Jacob. <laughs> and no, oh, and I'm gonna come out of retirement for for Survivor Series too. Yeah, because I am challenging Triple H <laughs> to a three stay two out of three falls matchup. See if you accept that. Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, is a fatal four-way match. And, of course, the winner of this matchup will be named the captain of Team WWE. 
And in this match, you got AJ Styles, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, and Randy Orton. And they'll, yep, yeah, that matchup is next. I can't wait for the 4 on 4 matchup at Survivor Series. We've got Team Raw who won the matchup against Team SmackDown. And of course, these are the following superstars that were represented by Monday Night Raw. But in the press conference, uh, you know, after Judgment Day, each of these guys said that they, they wanted to be captain. And so, well, Triple H is like, hey, you know what? I have an idea. Because they were all equals at uh, Judgment Day, but at uh, Survivor Series, they, were, they all wanted to prove why they should be captain. So, Triple H made this fatal four way match. Uh, to this one, where the winner will be team captain for Team Raw. It's going to be Ricochet, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and Drew McIntyre. Fatal four way. And also, this is also Triple H also said that that's a good way to let off some steam on the way to survive the series. And trust me, I already have Jacob on my side. I also have my brother Bradley, Champagne, Charlie, I don't know. As, as well as, as... As well. And his opponents... And of course, uh oh, Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen. The Viper, Randy Orton, the legend killer. 13 to 14 time world champion, a former Intercontinental champion, former United, I think a former United States champion. A former Money in the Bank winner, two-time Royal Rumble winner, I think. Yeah, his main event in WrestleMania. Former World Heavyweight Champion too. This guy has done it all in this business. Certified he'll future Hall of Famer, that's for sure. But Randy Orton, you know, I... I well, my second favorite superstar of all time, and there's a reason why I stole his move and used it as my own as the DKO, because I love the RKO man. As well as the Dan Storia, which is Ryback's shell shot. But hey, the Viper Randy Orton is here. He's here to strike on. Anyone that gets in his way in this final four-way match. Then they have to team up with each other against Champagne Charlie, my brother Bradley, Jacob, and a very important man as well of FAFW, Billy Sills. And here comes the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. And the H.S. Styles decides, decides to me that Daniel, oh, you're going to see some old faces of mine, uh, some old buddies of mine pop up on Monday Night Raw after March 17th. You could say there, you may have your good brother, why well, have my good brothers? So I, whatever that's meant to mean. Okay, AJ, I believe you. The phenomenal AJ Styles, though, the former WWE Champion, former TNA Heavyweight Champion, X, former X Division Champion. He has done it all in, 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 across the world in, in Ring of Honor, and on TNA, and on New Japan. And well, the, here comes a guy that 
is also a former WWE Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, former Tag Team Champion, you know, former Royal Rumble winner. Drew McIntyre. And let me tell you, Drew McIntyre is focused. He, he is, I spoke to him earlier and he said, look, WWE is coming to the United Kingdom. And but before we come to the United Kingdom, I'm gonna go out to Italy. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go to go on a gondola ride, and then once I've done the back, I'm, I'm done exploring Italy. I'm gonna get down the business, and I'm gonna kick AJ's ass. I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna, gonna kick Randy Orton's head off. I'm gonna hit but ricochet out of thin air, and then well. Randy Orton and I have also got some unfinished business. But yeah, you you four guys can battle it out here tonight on Monday Night Raw. I'm going to watch your team crumble in front of me while my team of Jacob, my best friend, Jacob, my brother Bradley, my, my other best friend that I used to work with, Billy Sills, and of course my... An, an actual wrestler that's going to compete for me, Champagne Charlie. He's going. They're going to be watching to make sure that there ain't going to be no cracks in the armor of my team. As Randy Orton taunting through McIntyre, meanwhile AJ Styles taunting on, the, trying to get the fans on his side, and Drew McIntyre takes out Randy Orton. See Jackson, your show is unfolding, and oh my God! What a what a throw by a true McIntyre. Look at this! Oh my god, what a spring point! What a McIntyre! Put in! Oh my god. Oh, there's one thing you're gonna be impressed though. Ricochet has a chance of winning this matchup. He's got a chance. He was the VIP for that Judgment Day matchup. I'll give I'll give Triple H and Jackson credit for picking out this team. That Ricochet was indeed the MVP of that matchup. He even managed to get a couple of eliminations. None of these men. And oh, there's a backbreak of a back clothesline by Randy Orton. I remember the first match again a pinfall submission. It's a moonsault. This is why I have to look out for people. Oh, wait a minute. Six thirty. Oh my God! I don't want to count him on the. Oh, busted crab on the outside and AJ Styles and Yuga on what a brain buster a Yuga Roshi brain buster and Randy Orton takes out McIntyre on the outside it's two of a history with each other and AJ Styles with a knee right to the face of Ricochet uh oh Randy Orton Vincent Jordan with the back brick of Meanwhile, in the ring, phenomenal forearm misses. The phenomenal forearm. And now Ricochet with a fisherman's suplex. And another back break of by Orton. He does not care about the other two that are in the ring. And Dolo, oh, Mechanuku driver, spinning. Mechanuku driver and Randy Orton getting back in the ring. Oh, he breaks up the pin. And Ricochet almost getting the pin. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Almost like a dream to drive it there. Uh, it's by Ricochet. You gotta look out for Ricochet, man. And neck break up and Drew McIntyre. And look at this. Uh, another fisherman's suplex by Ricochet. All the way up and sit down. Well, a suplex and now Ricochet going all the way up. He's going for 6.30! 6.30! And Orton kicks him out. Smart strategy there. By Randy Orton. Oh, man. And now Orton with the shots to the upper back. Um, to the kidney area, pretty much near there. And uh, no, wait a minute, and a swinging net breaker as AJ Styles goes to work on Drew McIntyre. They are, see, these fatal four ways, they can go either way. You've got to distance your opponent and try and focus on what, getting one person down. 
Not getting rid of the other person, so you can focus in the match and four way slam. My god, there goes Ricochet. Wait a minute! Styles! It's the Styles Clash! To Randy Orton! McIntyre! Oh, he's there. He can see him. AJ Styles. Uh, a phenomenal combination there. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute! AJ Styles! What the hell? Oh my god, AJ Styles hits the RKO! <laughs> One, two! Oh no, I got Orton had to kick out! Oh, what a move, what a move song! Oh, that's the cockiness! Oh, that'll get you nowhere! And wait! Oh no, reversal by AJ Styles! I can tie now! It's got him up! And reverse, flown over DDT by Orton! Orton after that DDT though! One! Two! And McIntyre falls to a kick out! And Jay Styles with a knee to the back of Ricochet! Uh oh, wait a minute, Vintage Orton here! Oh man! Oh! Gone! Vintage Orton! Look at this now! Neckbreaker! RKO! By Orton! One! Two! Oh wait! Phenomenal forearm! To the ricochet! And wait a minute, he doesn't see the pin! One! Two! Oh my god, Ricochet kicks out! McIntyre kicked out of the RKO! Ricochet kicked out of the phenomenal forearm! What is they gonna do? AJ Styles though. Two in a little ton and it may come back to bite him. Meanwhile, McIntyre with a few sharp elbows right to the fore forehead of Randy Orton. Suplexy Falcon Arrow by McIntyre. And now the right hands come crashing down. Randy Orton trying to block, but he can't. From behind though. There goes McIntyre. Reversed into a German suplex. Ricochet getting back into the fight. Catches him in off guard with a spin kick. Orton though catches him up there and oh, there's a stun gun. My gun and that busted up but like a stump pig is Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute, Styles! Go for the calf crusher! No, oh, wait a minute, the calf crusher! Come on, but no disqualification. The referee couldn't do much about that. And wait a minute. Oh, the kick out. Look up McIntyre. And uh, wait a minute. Oh, that double headed coconut smash. <laughs> you got to love it. Let's wait a minute. What's Ricochet doing here? Meanwhile, the beat down that McIntyre's giving Norton. A shot to the arm there. Wait a minute. Look at this. It's a Styles Styles Clash to Ricochet. One, two, and my god, there's McIntyre. Good god. Whoa. Oh, it overpowers him, AJ Styles. Reverse DDT by AJ Styles, and McIntyre's been set down. Back on his feet now. Uh oh. Close line by Orton! Oh no, Randy Orton going into that poison now! McIntyre is bleeding, I think! Ryan's a uh, turnbuckle! Uh oh, there's 10 mounted punches on right above my right eye, I think McIntyre is bleeding like a stuffed pig! Oh, you know, they're, they're counting! Look at Ricochet! Back in the ring, it's DJ Styles made the mistake! Oh, wait a minute. Look at this hesitated drop kick. Oh, hesitated drop kick on one. And Randy Orton sees Ricochet taking advantage. Oh, but there's a back suplex. Orton now going for. Oh, wait a minute. Going for the crown of the pound, but Ricochet counters. AJ Styles doesn't realize that Ricochet's back up. Oh, man. Oh, that shot to the leg. Um, right into the corner. And Chase Stars takes too much time taunting. That's when it gets you nowhere. Orton throws him into the turnbuckle. Oh my god, what a moonsault! 
And I think the bars right and left die. Ah, oh, Claymore! Claymore! Don't think Ricochet realizes it! No, he does now. Oh, man. Oh, my God, what a freaking headbutt! It's a uh, face of Ricochet and AJ Styles just taunting everybody. Big mistake there, Styles. Get back in the match. There's a moonsault by Ricochet. That takes out McIntyre uh, temporarily. That was a chop. I feel that in the morning. One, two. When AJ Styles almost gets a cheeky victory. And, ah, you see. Uh, you gotta go for the pin when everyone else is down. Ricochet though, I think gets rid of AJ Styles. Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre trying to get rid of Ricochet double suplex. Now oh, that leaves them both in the ring as us. Oh, what a spine buster by McIntyre. McIntyre now. Going for AJ, neck breaker. AJ hits the neck breaker. No, going after. Oh, that double chop hit him by Ricochet and AJ Styles. Right into the corner. What one of these men? Which one of these men is going to come out victorious? Oh my god, so many bodies to choose from. This Ricochet. My god, his nose firing back. All the way up top. Oh, he went for the RKO. Oh, he went for the Claymore. And he hit the drop kick. They both colliding with each other. McIntyre. The pop kick blocks it. And there goes Ricochet into the corner though. Uh oh. I don't like the looks of this. McIntyre bleeding. Pop his left eye. That's an Alabama slam. Randy Orton posing in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. And Ricochet at the heart of this young man is unbelievable. Taking a huge all about a slam and still manages to kick out. Gotta admire the heart of Ricochet. Went for a net break of a counter by AJ Styles. McIntyre has been worked on in the corner by Randy Orton. Which one of these four men is going to pick up the momentum to become the, well, the leader to become the, the captain for Team Raw? or Team WWE at this point, sorry. That was a shot from Orton into AJ Styles. And now, wait a minute. GDT onto Orton. Orton now, he's been taken care of. McIntyre's now. Pins gets back on his feet. Hesitated drop kick by Ricochet. And AJ Styles been taken out. McIntyre goes down. Drop kick by Styles. He's all alone in there. And McIntyre, Randy Orton, been taken care of. Oh no! Went for the phenomenal forearm. Nobody home. So now he has to improvise. Phenomenal blitz. McIntyre. Oof. Back in the ring. AJ Styles is done. And, and out there's a Falcon Arrow. Uh, AJ Styles may be in trouble here. Orton. What a German suplex! And a clothesline! A clothesline and up that I use clothesline! One, two, three! No! AJ Styles kicks out one on match and we've only gotten started ladies and gentlemen. With a huge main event ladies and gentlemen. Two of the greatest women to step inside the ring. Dakota Kai and Becky Lynch. One of them! Takedown by AJ Styles! Of course, Becky Lynch was unable to to get the Unified Women's Championship off the shoulder flip. That was smart. AJ Styles is going for the phenomenal forearm. Or Randy Orton picks up yeah, Ricochet. Uh oh. Oh no, the furniture's being rearranged here. McIntyre's gone. AJ Styles here. I don't like the looks of that. It's a pump kick. Meanwhile, McIntyre's got AJ. Wait a minute. Set thirty. Set thirty. McIntyre's taking out AJ. My God! My Ricochet picks up the win and is now the captain of Team WWE. What a match! Taking advantage of a fallen Orton as Drew McIntyre takes out AJ Styles. 
through that table. Taking our boatmen, meaning us to 6.30 could connect. Oh, the busted open ricochet, the blood sweat and tears in this matchup. By God, what a match, what a huge match. The bruises that uh, all four of these men took is unbelievable. RKO, 6.30s, AJ Styles missing a couple of phenomenal forearms and as well as connecting one. And a Styles match for good measure. My God, what a match. Out next, ladies and gentlemen, this is it's going to be a huge rivalry match as we as we know Grimm is no longer part of the Judgment Day. And so up next, we as we saw earlier, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Jackson and Connor and Jackson will be taking on Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura for the tag team titles on the Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series. So, but tonight, Cesaro is going to go one on one with Graham, and that match is next. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Raw. And as Jerry the King Lawler, this is a match uh, between the Judgment Day's Cesaro and the former Judgment Day member, Graham. That's right, Grimm is uh, well, Sash Connor, but this is Grimm, the alternate, uh, well, personal, split personality of Connor. And of course, you know, here's the thing. They said, you know, Cesaro before, he said, I knew I couldn't trust, I was, I spoke to Connor all this while ago. And then I spoke to Edge and I trusted Grim, I trusted him, but he threw that away, and now he's going to pay. If he fits that punk ass kid, and 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 then is is going to take the tag team titles away from us the week before, well, think again. But tonight, I'm going to destroy you. And so here he is, yes, here comes Grimm. But, like I said, at Survivor Series, regardless of whether he was champion, FAFW's, well, Grimm will be challenging King Edge for the crown. Now, you, this means that Edge will be in two matches. One where he defends the crown, and one where he defends the WWE, where he challenges my FAFW champion Grimm's arch rival, Stephen Jones Jr. However, with everything that's going on, The Rock has uh, appeared in the, in the scene of the things. And he never actually got a chance to regain that championship for the WWE Championship. So, because Roman Reigns inserted himself into the mix. And it was actually meant to be at Clash of Champions The Rock versus Edge. And as Jackson pointed out, he was going to try and get, try and convince The Rock to, well, he's trying to get The Rock in a match against Edge for the championship. And well, Triple H has come to an agreement and said, Hey, Jackson, that's a great idea. So, do that as Grimm takes out Cesaro on the outside here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some big news for you. Uh, the Rock has gotten, finally gotten his rematch. No pun intended. Ladies and gentlemen, he will get his rematch for the WWE Undisputed Championship. King Edge will defend his championship at the Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series. The same night that the tag team titles for Judgment Day will be defended. As the referee is counting out Cesaro and Edge, he told him he was going to beat him down. Oh, wait a minute, this is going to end in a double count out. Oh, so, uh, wait a minute, Grim, get back in the ring. Come on, Grim! 
Come on, show them why you should never have trusted you in the first place. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it going for it. Wait, but close that. Come on, Grim. Oh my. Go for a power slam! Oh wait! Oh my god, an inverno! A power slam turned into an inverted power slam! Wait a minute! The Grim Jacket! The Grim Jacket! Locked in! The Grim Jacket is locked in deep! What do you make Cesaro tap out here? What do you make him tap out? No! Cesaro ain't about to get out! Uh oh, wait a minute. This is a machine scan Nakamura. Thanks to my friend Jacob, by the way, managed to defeat Jackson earlier on tonight. I know that Jackson's going to be pissed about that, but trust me, this is what you get for choosing WWE over FAFW. I said, I'm, I'm the Jacob. Here's the thing: he didn't do it for Shinsuke Nakamura. He did it because I asked him to distract. Jackson went one, two, and on oh there two as Grimm manages to kick out after that big knee from the, the top rope there. So remember, Cesaro is a former Intercontinental Champion. He's a former United States Champion too. And a former Tag Team Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion. He had that championship with Sheamus as part of the bar for a very long time. And look at him destroying Grimm, doing the one thing they said he was going to do. I said he's got to go out there, destroy Grimm, make him pay for the betraying the Judgment Day. And what? The, the, the tag team match? Oh, the, the, the tag team titles is going to be a breeze. Our referee up to six. Oof! Our referee trying to get them both in the ring. This is a grudge match, that's for sure. The rivalry now starts just heating up between Judgment Day and, of course, Connor. Uh, oh, anyway, going for that sliding drop kick signature move there, though, by Grimm there. He, Grimm is taking out the leg of Cesaro here. Smart strategy. If you can't walk, then you can't hit those big moves. And you know, like the giant swing. And even the. Uh, oh, what a punch! Almost like a Superman punch. Big boot by Cesaro! And Cesaro was like, yeah, I'm doing this for Edge. I'm doing this for King Edge. And. Oh, he may not be King for much longer. It could be King Connor. Wait a minute. Oh, we're folding! Knee! And now he's going all the way up top! Grim! The signature diamond splash by Grim off the top turnbuckle. This is the Grim that was all over his indie scenes. He told me all about the Grim, and he went for the cover off that big splash. This is the he said he said to me uh, backstage that look, what I'm going to show you tonight is the old Grim, the Grim that will kick your ass. So wait a minute, reverse went for the Grim shot. His new finishing maneuver, the Grim shot. It's gonna, it's gonna show, he said he's going to show you. What you saw on the Judgment Day was nothing. Nothing compared to what you're going to see tonight. And, oh, wait a minute. Springboard! What a punch! Springboard punch right up there. There's aiming for the legs again. A Cesaro. Again, like I said, if you can't walk, you hit that, can't hit those big moves of Cesaro. Cesaro has a giant swing, the neutralizer, and he won't even be able to step through to the sharpshooter if he keeps attacking the knee. Like that, and look at him go! Just beating him down! Beating him down! God damn it. Come on, Grim! And all oh, that headbutt going to turn the lower abdomen. Don't have a big boot! This is going Grim's way now. What again? This is like he promises he said that he was going to beat down Cesaro. Don't have again. All the way up again, going for that signature dive move, maybe. Uh oh. Nope. I got a bad feeling about this. And Grim driving, shot a tackle. And again, aiming for my legs. This is what I thought he was going to do. This is what he said. He said he was hey. Also, stuck to me. And uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh boy. Boom! Pow! Grim 
and shot. There you go, Grim. One, two, three, and yes. There you go. That is some redemption right there. A little bit of a payback. My God, yes. Is that you? No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Behind you, Grim. Behind you. Behind you. No, no, no. no. That's not really not superstar. That's King Edge. King Edge is on oh, no, us. Let's get Nakamura in the mix. Nakamura in the mix too. Oh my God! Wait a minute, Grim, countering. He saw it coming. He saw it coming. Wait a minute. He saw it coming. Nakamura just can't decide when they. He wants to stay in this or not. My God! Now wait a minute. Edge is being beaten down by Grim. He's like, he wants some of this too. Oh my God! It backfired. It backfired. Because Cesaro will warn him down. He's trying to separate him. Trying to separate him. Yes! Grim saw it coming! He saw it coming! <laughs> he tried to attack him from behind, but then he countered, he countered it and fought back. He fought Edge off. <laughs> he survived the series. Says Grim. <laughs> Tag team titles may be coming home to, to Connor and Jackson after all. But ladies and gentlemen, this is not the main event. Even though Grim calls himself the main event on FAFW, this is going to be the main event, folks. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the main event is next. As the upcoming Dakota Kai will take on the man, Big Time, Bikulage. Speculation has said that she'll face anyone from the Raw Women's roster as long as she can be in the main event. And the woman to step up with was no other than Dakota Kai. So Dakota Kai versus Becky Lynch, that match is next. Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Big Time Becky Lynch. Yeah. The man, big time, Vicky Lynch, and she's had a change of uh, well attitude on some late. She's uh, like, hey, look, I'm the big time, I'm the man, I'm the main event around here. I may, have, I may have lost to Charlotte Flair at Judgment Day, the but the contact. the man it's has come cool. around one more time, and I don't care who it is. I want a match in the main event on Monday Night Raw. So Triple H was like, okay, how about this? How about against an upcoming superstar? How about a match against Dakota Kai? And the man was like, well, oh, the man has come around and she's going to flatten Dakota Kai and send her back to the indie circuit. So, so this should be interesting. Dakota Kai, an upcoming superstar here on Monday Night Raw. Dakota Kai. Look at her. And from Auckland, New Zealand. The New Zealander is just looking to prove herself. And just before the match, she just, I had an interview from Kayla Braxton, and she, she was like, I am I'm Maya Becky. Right? But to come out and to try and prove a point well here's the thing I will kick anybody's ass any day of the week so Becky you better get ready for the ass kicking of a lifetime and, uh, well here we go uh oh wait a minute here comes the champion Sean of Flair. Wait a minute. I remember the champion can be on both brands, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, as of March 17th, uh, she'll have both the championships of the SmackDown Women's Championship and the Raw Women's Championship. And to be able to defend the title separately once again. As a distraction, slightly distracting the man, Becky Lynch, now. 
But, but the man is not too worried about Charlotte Flair at ringside. And she's going to work to Dakota Kai with the shots to the lower back. And here well, comes Dakota now with her shots to the back as well. Dakota Kai from New Zealand and she grew up and in the indie circuits in New Zealand she performed some really great matches over there then she came over to the United States did some more indie work and now she's here on WWE and this is not her first rodeo I mean she's done a lot for the business and so I, I am looking forward for, for the seeing what the future holds she this up put the damage to her opponent but can she control the situation not all up from all the way over there and as you can see that, that knee brace she used to she likes to use that as a weapon and it shows as Becky Lynch is being an hour taking care of them right, she really is doing a lot of damage she said she was going to kick her out, she said she was going to defeat the man, but the man in the oof, big time Becky Lynch with a leg drop, and again, it's multiple leg drops, big boot by Dakota, see I am impressed by Dakota Kai, going for a, like a camel clutch, just pulling it back, can she make a tap out, well, no, Dakota Kai, there's only one place that Becky Lynch wants to be in, and that's the main event. That means going up against an upcoming new superstar like Dakota Kai. So be it. Ooh, what an arm oh, breaker right there. But, ooh, a shot right to the chest. Look out now, here comes Dakota Kai. Oh, what a kick, and a double foot stomp. Dakota Sky, Dakota Sky, Dakota Kai, going up high, and flip cross, body, and was caught by Becky. Because wait a minute, here comes Becky Lynch now, Irish whip in the corner. Oh wait a minute, Charlotte Flair, distracting her, distracting Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch has had enough. She's had enough for Charlotte putting her nose in her business even though went to Dakota Kai now needs to focus on the match does Becky Lynch with her right hand but Dakota Kai says hey don't forget about me and Charlotte Flair hey I think I've done the damage not physical but mentally of that distraction but was it enough to take off the psyche oh Becky Lynch Three up to four, and uh, three. Oh, there was the back exploding. Onto to the outside, and Dakota Kai trying to fight back. What an upset victory it would be if Dakota Kai was to get a victory here. And another exploder. And referee up to six. And Becky is doing a lot of damage on the outside, and she gets back in the ring. She. Dakota Kai doesn't know where doesn't know where she is. Oh, but she does now. And Dakota Kai throws Becky back in the back in the ring. Oh, wait a minute. The manhandle stabs and that slight distraction was not enough as a manhandle slam. One, two. Oh, made it go for her. But Dakota Kai she kicks out at two. Unbelievable. But maybe she's gonna go for it again. And now, wait a minute, come for it! Second one! Oh, they all, the disarmor! The disarmor! What the code of tap out? What she tap out? Looks like she may have to, she's sending a message. But no way! The code of manages to get out of the disarmor! Somehow, some way, that's her right hand. That's her right hand. The code of Kai, look at the finish this! Oh my god, a GTS! A GTS, a modified GTS by Dakota Kai. One, two, no! Just a two count. How is she still in this? After that GTS, and now wait a minute. It comes Dakota fighting back, and oh, what is this? 
Scorpion and kick by Dakota. Uh oh. Dakota finish him. Up. Oh! Don't want a hard drag! Oh! Now we're counted the TTS into an arm drag. That's a great maneuver. And now wait a minute, crucial fix and a pin! One, two, three, no! She almost caught her off guard there. Becky Lynch. No, wait a minute. Does armor again? She's going to end for the second time in the match. There is no escaping. Surely not. Surely she ain't going to escape for the second time. Putting it back even further. She's going to have to tap. But no. Dakota Kai has a freaking brave soul that's trying to stay in this. But Becky Lynch is doing the damage. She's doing the damage to the... Dakota Kai here. Uh oh. Becky Lynch is pissed off. You do not, if that's one thing you don't want to do, is piss off the man. Dakota Kai holding her arm. Just waiting for her to get up. She's like, get up, Dakota. Oh no! Went for the drop kick. No, nobody home. Dakota Kai moves slightly to the left. Reverse DDT. The man getting back in now for that slam miscalculation. But now, manhandle slam! That's it, it's gonna be over. One, two, three! And that's it, Becky Lynch with the win, win the victory over Dakota Kai. She put up a great effort, did Dakota, but not enough for the man. The man, Becky Lynch, picks up the victory, picking up a huge momentum, possibly to challenge. Of Charlotte, Ball Charlotte Flair in the future for the Raw Women's Championship. Remember now, and you can challenge for both titles, like individually, or you can challenge for both and get that special belt. And after Raw shouldn't be able to hold both at once. Or she be Becky two belts again in the future? Who's going to be able to beat Charlotte Flair? We'll have to find out ladies and gentlemen in the future because I hope you enjoyed Monday Night Raw. The man Becky Lynch has come around one more time defeating Dakota Kai in the main event of Monday Night Raw. And until next time on Dan 2015 on Xbox Live, YouTube and on Twitch. And I'll have that to say, Ciao Bella! That's goodbye in Italian. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the Master Chief icon to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch the previous video, click on the one on the left. If you want to watch the playlist, click on the one on the right.